Hi, welcome back to Art with Alex and Maya. Have you been looking for a gift for a creative person? Don't know what to get? Well, today we're gonna give you four cool options that you might choose from. So I'm gonna leave some links down below in the description, take you straight to the products. So let's get to it. The first gift idea is a box of Blackwing 602 pencils. These pencils are really nice looking and the story behind them is really cool too. They are a remake of a very famous pencil created by Everhard Faber back in 1934 that was then discontinued in 1998 due to problems with production and very low sales. In its heyday, the 602 was the pencil of choice of greats like Chuck Jones, John Steinbeck, Leonard Bernstein, E.B. White, John Williams, and Quincy Jones. As in the original pencil, engraved on each pencil is the original quote, half the pressure, twice the speed, referring to the pencil having the softness of a three or four B lead, but the rate of use of an HB. A group of writers, artists, musicians, and designers from California got together and bought the Blackwing name and created a new brand with a modern vision of an old classic, as they share on their website. We believe that thoughtful interaction with the world around us leads to a healthier life. That interaction may come from scribbling a thought in your journal, flipping through the dusty pages of a familiar book, or listening to the warm tone of your favorite record. No matter what form it takes, there's something profoundly human about it and that's in our DNA. Now that's a vision I can relate to. Everything about them is a creative person's dream. From the outset, you can see the attention to detail they put into designing the box. Inside, you find 12 pencils in gunmetal color and they really don't look like any other pencils out there. The most peculiar thing is the eraser which mimics the original Fero clip system. I do most of my daily writing and doodling in pencil, so my preferred pencils tend to be HB, and this pencil is very close to that feel. Soft, but with a darker tone, making it really smooth to use. The second gift, and possibly can be gifted along with the 602 pencil, is the Blackwing One-Step Long Point Sharpener. This thing is built like a tank, made with machined aluminum. It looks more like a gadget fit for James Bond than a lowly pencil sharpener. All black with really cool lines, its German blade tears through pencils with no effort. It will probably give you a good three or four sharpens before you have to empty the canister. And that's an experience. Listen to the metal. So well made. Who knew sharpening pencils would be such an experience? The next gift idea is as easy and simple as it comes. A pen. All of us need a pen on their desks to write with. And uh, if you're any, anything like me, you always end up with that random pen of the moment that you pick up at a office supply shop that's usually like a weird color, like orange. Uh, or the never ending logo pen that you pick up at your doctor's office or at the auto shop. It kept to a point where I said, I'm gonna get a nice pen to have, you know, to write with. And, but if history has shown me anything is that that pen is probably going to end up either in my car, lost, or in some random bin in my daughter's room. It had to be something stationary, like a base or a stand, but it also had to be cool and different. I then came across the Novium Hover Pen. This peculiar pen is built in aluminum, and the base has these four pins equipped with magnets that suspend the pen like it's in the air. Keep in mind that this pen is not a pen to give to a, a person who's really into pens, that uh, worries about which type of ink you use, or maybe uses for calligraphy. This is more of like a 
tool that you're gonna have in your desk. For me, it reduces the chance of getting lost uh, because it's stationary and it looks super cool. It's definitely a conversation piece. The only drawback is you might waste a little more time during the day. For the next gift idea, we're gonna talk about the book called 365 Days of Art, which Maya got from... Santa Claus! That's right. 365 Days of Art by Lorna Scobie. It's an inspiring journal designed to help readers and budding artists nurture their creativity and explore their feelings through art. Featuring an activity for every day of the year, from simple tasks like drawing shapes and lines to more mindful exercises like pencil and water coloring, this little journal will take you on quite a creative journey. With beautiful, vibrant hand lettering, watercolor illustrations, and easy to follow instructions, the journal promotes practice and sparks reflection. Also, having a journal format helps develop the habit of daily journaling which will provide a fantastic opportunity to review and admire all your progress after you finish the whole book. For example, this one says, color or create a pattern. So I grabbed my coloring pencils and I created a pattern. The next one says, turn these paint blobs into animals. The daily date entry is left blank so you can start it at any point of the year, making it a year-round gift option. Maya has already been hard at working filling the pages every day, and I'm watching her enjoying doing it. So I've been enjoying a lot watching Maya fill in her new journal. Right? Yeah. I'm hoping maybe next year Santa Claus can bring me one. If you're good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and remember to punch that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications when our next video is about to come out. See you next time. Bye!